So as you've seen, the uh, video recorder has stopped. So we're going to continue on with part two of these uh, prophecy uh, updates as of uh, November the 2nd, 2024. So now I'm going to bring up the uh, scriptures, as I mentioned. Uh, bring up that, uh, that Revelation 11, verse 14, you know, because the uh, second will pass, the whole third will come quickly. Which is uh, on getting on God one. This is uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. It says, uh, The second will pass, behold, there will come quickly. What's the arm again? Arm of God one. That's what we are seeing. And this is uh, Matthew's. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars by Iran versus Israel. It says, See, then she be not shoved for all these things, must first come to pass, but then it's not yet. Right, increase of wars and rumors of wars. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation, by Iran versus Israel. Uh, Russia versus Ukraine, Russia versus NATO, you know, as a prime example. Uh, North Korea versus South Korea, Japan, and the United States. It says, uh, Matthew 24, verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Uh, there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So, bring up the rest of these uh, news articles. See, so once again, it's a lot for that because the uh, video had cut short on me once again. <laughs> uh, the uh, the V, uh, I believe, is the V recording, that's the name of it. But I'm um, continuing on with some uh, news articles once again. Check out ArabNews.com, see if there's say uh, prophecy updates, like scripture says, Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. I mean, uh, Ecclesiasticus. Um, 39 and verse 1 in sin. Check out the uh, Middle East. It says uh, Lebanon says one dead, 15 wounded, and they is where it's right on South Bay roof. Right, as we've been saying, the increase in ongoing escalation has been heating up between the borders of uh, southern Lebanon and the uh, southern suburbs of Bay Roof, uh, Lebanon, and the borders of uh, Israel. You know, the Israel Defense Force going against. Uh, Hezbollah was a for Iranian group. It says uh, Israel may have intercepted three drones over the Red Sea. Right, as we've been saying, escalation has been heating up between, um, you know, what's a uh, Houthi rebels, which is a Iranian backed group over there, over there in Yemen. And then they've been targeting uh, the United States and Great Britain, the IDF as well, too, over there in the Red Sea. As I had a side note to that, it says Israel, uh, Salakia. Yep, it says uh, Israel arms says intercepted three drones over the Red Sea. It says the uh, pro uh, the pro I the, the Iraqi of the pro Iranian group said it carried out drones and attacks on Israel's heavy area. It says uh, the Israeli military said on Saturday it had intercepted three drones and launched from the east over the Red Sea, applying to specify where they came from. And it says uh, a short while ago, the D, the three UAVs that were launched from the east were intercepted over the Red Sea. The UAV intercepted. It says uh, prior to the uh, crossing. It says crossing. It says prior to the. Uh, it says prior to the crossing of the uh, into the U.S. territory. Uh, the military says in a statement. It says the Iraqi pro-Iranian uh, uh, groups said carry out uh, drones attacks. The coalitions of the uh, pro-Iranian groups in Iraq says to carry out a uh, drone attacks in the Israeli uh, resort of LA on Saturday after uh, Israel said it intercepted three drones approaching from the east. It says uh, in a statement that the Islamic resistance in Iraq is one behind the attacks on what they call for the vital uh, targets in the resort on the Israel's red coast, also conducted within one hour. Right, so like I mentioned again, you know, tense has been heating up between, um, uh, has, uh, I would say the Houthis, which is a pro Iranian group, going against the uh, Israel Defense Force in Great Britain and the United States over there in the Red Sea. And this is a, uh, another news article from uh, ArabNews.com. I'm going to put this to upload. 
and this is uh, from November 2nd, 2024, and it reads, it says, uh, Jordan warns of increasing regional unrest and vows to protect its airspace, border reports. It says, uh, Jordan on Saturday, it says, uh, Jordan on Saturday warned against the intercepting of its airspace and a fragment of its borders and unrest increasing in the region. Jordan reaffirms the rejections of attempts by some regional parties to violate the airspace, especially launching drones that some of which have entered the kingdom's airspace as parts falling inside Jordan's territory, says the government spokesperson Mohammed Manami, according to the Petra of Petra News Agencies. The spokesperson pointed that the two incidents of this sort has occurred recently in the governor's streets of Airbed. And Jari's describing as a threat that Jordan was dealing with within the military groups of the engagements, that it was taking all necessary measures to confront these uh, violations. It says the ministers warned of increasing regional unrest, retaliatory, that Jordan will not be a conflict zone for any party, that will not allow warplanes and missiles and drones to pass through the airspace. It says the U.S. Oh, that's uh, something else. It says that Israel, the path of destruction in the southern Lebanon, raises fears of the attempt to create a buffer zone. And this is a, another news article, as has been saying, another signs of uh, wars and rumors of wars, which is uh, Matthew 24, verse 6. <coughs> it says that Israel and war planes, uh, ground forces have blasted a trials of destruction through southern Lebanon in the past month. More than one million fled the bombarded empty uh, much of the south. It says, press of a hilltops a short walk from the Israeli border, a tiny southern Lebanon village in Rima almost has been wiped out of the map. In a neighboring village, the uh, satellite photo shows a similar scene. A hill was one recovering of uh, what houses now reducing a gray smear of rubble. The Israeli war planes and ground forces have blasted a trail of the destruction through the southern Lebanon past month. It says the aim, as the Israel says, that it the Bele, the uh, Hezbollah military group, as it puts away the border. It says will ill more than a year of Hezbollah uh, fires in the northern Israel. Uh, Israel. <clears throat> it says uh, every uh, United Nations peace, uh, peacekeepers and Lebanese troops in the south has come under fire from its Israeli forces, raising questions over whether they can remain in place. It says uh, more than one million people has fled the bombarded empty much of the South. And some experts say Israel may be aiming to create a deep populist buffer zone. It says it's a strategic strategy. It has already been deployed along its borders for Gaza. It says uh, some conditions such as fuzzy zones appear already in place. It says according to the Associated Press analysts, satellite imagery data, it says collected by the map. It says experts that shows the uh, breadth of destruction across the 11 uh, villages next to the border. The Israeli military has, it says that the border is necessary to destroy the Hezbollah tunnels and other infrastructure. It says that the uh, government enable the uh, towns and the blasts have destroyed homes, neighboring and uh, sometimes um, entire villages. It says uh, where families have lived there for generations. So I'm going to leave it at that. We'll bring up that uh, Luke 21 verse uh, 25. This is uh, the book of Luke 21 verse 25 and it reads, this is uh, the book of Luke, chapter 20, uh, 21, verse 25. It reads, it says, There shall be signs in the sun and the moon and upon the earth, expressive nations with blacks and seas which will Right, that's what we see in sedition to uprises. Discretive nations will be blessed in uh, seas which will Second edition, chapter 15, verse 15. It says, uh, For the sword and expression draw off nine, one people should stand up and fight against another sword's hands. Right, which is another modern day sword's weapon. And we've been saying definitely great seditions among the nations. This is uh, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men, bidding one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes. And of course, the actions stand in that power. And this is uh, the book of Second Edgers, 
chapter 9, verse 3. Therefore, when it shall be seen, earthquakes, uproars, and people rule. So these uh, great seditions and uprises and uproars of people rule is only going to continue to increase. It says a missile strike on central Israel born in nine as of November 2nd, 2024. <clears throat> it says the head of the UN back team of experts cited the RSF polymerase in Sudan for sexual violence as more race soon. So we'll check out some more news articles from our news now. It says, uh, yeah, it says, uh, Iran's Atali Ali Kamali promised the deep working response against Israel. Yeah, this is a uh, news article from the UPI uh, news article as of November 2nd, 2024, published by Mike Hitler and Alan Cohn, updated at 2.09 p.m. It says, uh, Iran's Atali Ali Kamali promised deep breaking promise, deep uh, right promise, a deep breaking response against uh, Israel and the U.S. Right, because you got the allies between the United States armies and the uh, Israel Defense Force going against the uh, pro-Iranian groups in Iran as well too, especially in that region over there in Western Asia. It says, uh, Iran's supreme leader, Atali Ali Kamali, said Wednesday, I mean, uh, said Saturday, I meant to say Salakia. It says the United States and Israel will ensure a teeth breaking uh, it says a teeth breaking retaliation at the Lashbrook military sites in Iran in, in uh, October, which is over there in Tyran, those military bases over there in the area. It says uh, the enemy, both the U.S. and the Zionist regime should know that they will definitely receive a deep breaking response for what they are doing against Iran and the resistance of the uh, front, Amali said, while uh, addressing the uh, student group. It says, uh, we are certainly that we will do we are we are certainly do everything necessary to prepare for the Iranian nations to stand against the ignorance where it turns of military readiness or armaments or political action. Iran on October first launched a missile strike against Israel that did a little damage but prompted Israel to retaliate against them of the Iranian military installations on uh, October twenty fifth. So if I can bring out some more scriptures. And this is, uh, yep, Joel chapter 3, verse 9. And this is uh, the prophet Joel chapter 3, verse 9. It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, uh, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Right, so that's what we're seeing, what's heating up over there in the Battle of Jehoshaphat, especially uh, Iran versus Israel and the uh, pro Iranian groups going against the IDF over there in that area. Joel chapter 3, verse 10, it says, Beat your cloud sheds the swords and plenty books. And the spirits let the weak set strong. Right, let the weak set strong, which is these self uh, armed nations are in that warlike mindset. As we've been saying, Iran been uh, building up their nuclear capability, North Korea building up their nuclear capability, and all these uh, armies of nations building up their nuclear capability now, so uh, more than ever. It says, a uh, senior leader, Hezbollah well operative, captive by the Israeli Navy. In northern Lebanon, military official has says, it says Zelensky urged allies to take action before North Korean troops reach Ukraine front. It says, uh, some more news articles. It says Zelensky issued warnings about U.S. reactions to North Korean troops in Ukraine. Oh. Right, because uh, I would say like early in March, you had the cooperations between uh, North Korea and uh, Moscow and Russia as well, too. 
because I believe they signed a military pack deal. Uh, that's why they was able to deploy, um, I would say like a couple of weeks ago, they deployed in like 10,000 troops over there to uh, the Russian Ukraine situation. Because, you know, we got Russia and uh, North Korea's allies, as you've been seeing, in, as you've seen, South Korea and the United States and its allies officials said no was warning to uh, North Korea about sending troops over there in the area. It says Iran warns of nuclear program shift threatens U.S. and uh, Israel. This is a uh, Newsmax news article. Right, this is uh, from Newsmax, uh, November the second, twenty forty. Reads, it says uh, Iran and U.S. Slovakia. Right, it says uh, Iran and Iran warns nuclear. Iran warns of nuclear program shift threatens the U.S. and Israel. It says Iran has issued a strong warning to the U.S. and Israel with the Supreme Leader Atali Ali Khamenei vows to two breaking response as a top officials hitting a potential change to Iran's nuclear policy. I think that's kind of similar to what uh, Russia had did as well too. They built up their nuclear, uh, nuclear doctrine and nuclear policy as well too. And that's the same thing uh, Iran is doing this process as well too. And it makes perfect sense because you have uh, yeah, Iran and Russia is allies with one another. As we've been seeing the uh, building up between China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea been heating up as well too. It says uh, Kamali declares on Saturday that Iran will retaliate forcefully against Israel, against the United States for what they are doing against Iran and its allies in the region. It says the remarks follow an intensifying cycle of uh, military exchange, a political posturing that once had Stokes fears further in escalation. It says Kamal Kwasi, a senior advisor to the Kamali, suggests on Friday that Iran could shift a nuclear policy to create weapons speaking on Lebanese uh, broadcaster al Madadi. A Kazarasi stated that Iran has the capability to develop nuclear weapons and may reconsider its stance on nuclear arms sh should the nations face uh, intentional threat. It says in the in existing threats arise, Iran will modify the nuclear doctrine. We have a capability to build weapons and have no issue that is regarded, he stated. It says attributes to Iran restrictions to come out in 20, 2003 religious ruling or fatwa prohibiting the development of nuclear weapons. Also, also indicated that Iran might extend the range of, of ballistic missiles it's a citing concern about Western response to Iran's to terror sovereignty. There is a possibility that the range of Iran's missiles may increase. It says he remarked signals a potential shift in Iran's defense strategic. I mean, our strategy. It says General Mohammed uh, Namali, spokesperson for Iran Revolutionary Guard Corps, stated that Iran would deliver a decisive and strong response to any perceived or new aggressions and particularly from Israel, the enemy must learn it. <coughs> it says the enemy must learn a engage in acts of hostility without uh, receiving a uh, crushing response, he, he said. It says these statements comes as the U.S. reinforcements in present in the Middle East on Friday, the Pentagon announced that the deployment of the additional military assets, including the B-52 bombers, fighter jets, Refugee aircraft and Navy destroyers as a um, Abraham Lincoln striker group prepares to lead the region. So I ain't gonna read all the rest of that. Go to uh, bring up the scriptures of that. Yeah, this is a uh, Joel chapter <clears throat> three verse nine. Proclaim eat the sun of the Gentiles. Prepare war. Uh, wake up the mighty man. Let all men of war draw near. Let them come up. All right. So that's why we're seeing increasing nuclear escalations and tensions are heating up over there in Western Asia throughout that region. Especially the most primary one of Iran versus uh, Israel throughout that region. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 10. Beat your plow, shares, and the source of plenty of the spirits, and the same story. So, this was just a quick sit down lesson of uh, prophecy updates of uh, part 1 and part 2. As of uh, November the 2nd, 2024, uh, on the Saturday afternoon. So, with that, I would like to give all praise and say glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, and Kakadash, and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh. His only begotten son, Bahashem, the name of Mashiach, Yahushua. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one, Kadash, the Tongue. 
when I say rock bum to the uh, yeah, I'm just gonna rock him off, rock him off until next time. I will say shut up.